Good afternoon, it's a deal for Zal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 3rd of April 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, market stats, let's go through them. You have the uh, European uh, markets uh, relatively uh, upbeat overall. Uh, first of all, Asian markets, we have uh, the uh, Nikkei up 73 points, up 0.4, the Shanghai up 0.4%, the Hang Seng higher as well. It certainly seems like Mr. Trump's comments certainly are not feeding through in terms of its uh, review of the trade deficits going forward, potential trade barriers, trade tariffs, protectionism fears, certainly isn't uh, rocking the boat, so to speak. Okay, certainly isn't upsetting the uh, apple cart. Now, for now... Markets are oblivious to it, and it certainly seems that markets are pinning their hopes on this potential stimulus and, and so-called recovery, etc. And uh, markets certainly seem to be uh, uh, overwhelmed by the uh, by the positive side. Uh, but uh, uh, Asian markets, so should we say US, uh, European markets, sorry, uh, thus far, you have the FTSE more or less flat, even though we had weaker PMI data this morning. Uh, these concerns, political concerns increasing with regards to Brexit, given the Gibraltar equation. Uh, we have um, PMIs from Europe certainly coming in on a stronger side, They're certainly helping the German DAX to a large extent, although Mr. Courier, uh, ECB member, has stated that uh, yeah, firms and individuals need to uh, accept that interest rates will not remain as low as they are now and they will be rising in the future. Now, the French CAC certainly under pressure at present, down 11 points to the back of uh, political concerns regarding Le Pen. Okay, IBEX down, FTSE MIB down. So it certainly seems like the hawkish um, talking ECB certainly is um, now putting a uh, potential uh, squeeze on the rally, especially given the fact that um, the German DAX, if I bring up the German DAX, this is the key index really, given the fact that it's, uh, it's had a stellar rally, German DAX is, is now into that double top resistance zone, therefore indicating risk aversion. So you are looking for weakness now uh, going forward, so just bear that in mind. Looking at the daily chart uh, as well, you are looking at resistance uh, too, okay? Okay, so again, German DAX certainly double top on the weekly chart. Daily chart itself certainly overextended, looking to potentially pull back. A 60 minute chart on German DAX. Uh, again, you have gap gap fill at 12, uh, 310. Let's see if we continue. Now, we do have more two gaps, unfilled gaps below. First gap seeing uh, at 12,150, and the next one is witnessed at. Uh, uh, 12,000. So again, German DAX certainly looks uh, overbought from my perspective and certainly looking to sell off, especially given the fact that Mr. Trump has been uh, basically criticizing uh, the Germans' trade deficit, uh, uh, Germany's trade deficit and avoiding import duty. So again, it'll import tax. So it'll be interesting going forward. Again, protectionist fears certainly doesn't bode well. Any sort of trade war certainly is risk negative for growth. So again, looking for risk aversion to kick in. Okay, that certainly is the uh, expectations here. Again, 10-minute chart, you have your unfilled gap below to close. In terms of bearish news, it's basically 10-fold, 20-fold. You have the Baker Hughes rig count. That certainly was on the increase on Friday. Again, oil supply concerns certainly at the forefront. Okay, the Brexit bill as well. Talk of a five, uh, 500 euro per citizen bill. Again, increases the uncertainty. Uh, Trump's currency manipulation, train deficit, import duty, etc., evasion potential argument there in terms of uh, hurting free trade and international agree uh, agreements uh, again Chinese data as well overnight certainly weaker iron ore certainly weaker as well uh, basically the Germans filing a complaint against uh, well certainly against the, US, the Americans via the World Trade Organization uh, also with regards to Trump we're reiterating that uh, he'll basically go it alone the go it alone approach versus North Korea Again, raising, the, obviously, uh, the standoff with China, uh, and especially given the fact that we have China coming to the US towards the end of the week, and he's already criticised them. So that certainly doesn't bode well either. Also, ECB prayer indicating that there will be asset reduction uh, going forward. So again, tapering comments, again, hurting EU equity. So everything is risk negative from my perspective. Japanese PMI is certainly weaker as well. Okay, uh, the fact that the, uh, the US is going to go ahead and uh, make any sort of progress on this tax reform certainly seems to be um, fading very fast given the fact that uh, the US politicians are on Easter recess. So it, uh, everything is indicating lower. Bias remains risk off, negative from my understanding, and we are looking to move lower with this gap fill below the German DAX to close. 
in terms of um, the French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC for you now, folks. Okay, the French CAC on the weekly chart. You are coming into resistance and around this zone here on the 5150 zone. Also, given the fact that the German DAX at double top, you are looking at the French CAC being into resistance. Daily chart, you have the upper channel resistance. Okay, and the daily chart, 60 minute chart. Once we break this uh, diagonal trend line, then you are looking at a, um, a potential flush down to support here at 5060. So watch out for 5060 on the downside. In terms of the FTSE 100, it certainly has been uh, under pressure from the uh, outset, given the uh, uncertainty surrounding Gibraltar, surrounding Brexit, etc. Daily chart has this HS formation. It certainly seems like it wants to play out now. Right shoulder certainly is in. Okay, 60 minute chart. Uh, the last bastion of support really is clinging on at 7320. Once that cracks, and you're breaking up 7290, and 7260 comes into play. So FTSE 100 is certainly under pressure. Euro stocks, uh, let's look at Euro stocks now, looking at the weekly chart. Euro stocks are into key resistance along with the German DAX, therefore looking for risk aversion. Daily chart again looks exhausted. 60 minute chart, you've got higher highs and higher lows, but you are looking at previous support equals resistance at 5385. Once we break that 5385, you're looking at, uh, for, uh, sorry, 3485, then you look at 3465. And then 3, 4, uh, 50 will come into play on the euro stocks again. A stronger euro certainly will hurt your uh, exports going forward, uh, especially given the fact that economic data is stronger. And now typing talk as well, certainly hurting the market. Adding the fact Mr. Trump's comments, adding the fact that uh, you've got political uncertainty regarding, regarding Le Pen, etc., etc. Everything starts to add up. Okay, so on that note, looking for risk aversion, looking for bias to remain bearish here. Uh, U.S. markets will be interesting given the fact that the Nasdaq is at a key resistance as well. If you look at the daily chart of the Nasdaq, you're at that key double top. So that certainly isn't a coincidence. Okay, you're a topping tail on Friday as well. Double top on the Nasdaq it indicates risk aversion globally. So let's watch out for weakness and let's look out for weakness going forward. On that note, please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and certainly take it, uh, take advantage of the bonus and uh, visit Trade Signal for the latest app. Goodbye now.